Hey guys. Hello. We've got, Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Hi. Hi. Elle Travis from Yes Arts, who was just here. You, were, I feel like you were here like last week. Was it last was. week? Oh, yeah. It's only been just a week. A, you know, regular. <laughs> chair warm. And then uh, <laughs> Police Chief Dusty Bowman, retiring Police Chief Dusty Bowman. Yes, sir. Is, Today is, is last day. Today's the day. Today is the day. So. What are you gonna do? Uh, Honestly, you know, get my health back straight in order and mm-hmm. just enjoy some time off. Enjoy yeah. some yeah. more family time. So. There you go. Well earned and congratulations. Thank you, sir. It'll be fun. Um, all right. Well, let's talk about something that's happening. You won't be around. I mean, you'll be around, but, it, you know, not in your official capacity on August 6th, the National <laughs> Night Out coming up, 530 to 830. Um, let's get some details about, like, where it's going to be, what, you know, what, what folks can be expect from the event. Well, you know, it's always been the goal to uh, to grow the this program mm-hmm. bigger and bigger every year. This year we are going to take over um, Second Street between oh. Steel and Bridge, okay. and as well as Conway, going back to the end of the um, city's parking lot. Okay. So we'll have all kinds of amazing things. We brought in uh, Yes Arts to help us this year mm-hmm. because they know the, the Amanda and L. Mm-hmm. Uh, they know how to lay out a party down there in that area <laughs> so they've been successful and we we, we leaned on them and it, it's turned out to be to have some great things good well and you guys are great at uh you know engaging with the community and and all the different pieces of that so uh, how has that been for you guys leading up to this and you know yeah it's actually um you know national night out is a, a community policing event and so um actually what sparked us um being yes arts being a part of it was that um the frankfurt police department and yes arts have been doing a collaborative grant project mm-hmm. through the department of justice micro grant and I, I know i talked to you all a little mm-hmm. bit about it last week but essentially we have um a grant to bring together children who have incarcerated parents and officers and so there are all these phases of the grant we train the police officers and then we bring the kids in and they do art therapy mm-hmm. you know we eat chick-fil-a and do all kinds of board games and dig around in sand pits and things mm-hmm. like that it's a whole bunch of fun but that grant is supposed to culminate in an event okay. and a ribbon cutting to reveal the mural that the children and the officers have created and it's inside the police department in okay. the community room. So at 5:30, there's also uh, there's actually going to be a ribbon cutting to awesome. kind of kick off this event, and then after that, we'll release everybody, all the mm-hmm. children and right. families, to go do dunk tank and go visit Dusty and the officers, uh, see the vehicles. Mm-hmm. We've got bubble pit, which is new this year. Mm. Have you all seen that thing? No. Yet? Mm-hmm. It's like foam party, the old school foam parties oh, that yeah. you used to have, yeah. but for kids. Oh. They come out really, really bubbly, though. So nice. I told the guy who's running, he needs to get some towels. Right. Um, <laughs> and then we've got pony rides and petting zoo and mm-hmm. carnival games. Every, mm-hmm. We got it all. Don't it's going to be a really good event. Nice. And it, the free ice cream. And oh. free ice cream. First, first hundred kids there will get a voucher from our officers, and they will okay. get a free ice cream from, uh, I believe it's going to be, uh, why did I just lose it? Taylor Bell. Um, Taylor Bell. Yeah. I, okay. I just went blank for a minute. Yeah. So. It's a retirement brain. <laughs> Completely. Absolutely. Well, let me let me see if you can answer this question. All right. So, how did uh, National Night Out come about? I mean, how did it get started? <clears throat> well, it started in the uh, suburbs of uh, Philadelphia back mm-hmm. in 1984. Um, they wanted. Uh, they were seeing some gaps between law enforcement and the community. They wanted to find a way to strengthen that. So they brought on partners, just like we do, um, to culminate a night that it is, you know, just a time for trust building and relationship building. And and for us, we do a dual sword because all our partners come out. If they have services for the community and mm-hmm. families, then they're able to not only provide games and stuff for the kids, but maybe some helpful stuff for the parents that right. might be beneficial to them. But it grew and grew. Yeah. and. Uh, we used to do this to tell you where we've come. It used to be in the gym at Second Street School years, yeah. years ago. <laughs> yeah, I remember. And then we had to grow and take over part of the driveway and then part of the parking lot. I remember I, it being out in the parking lot. Yeah, at the and school. I yeah. and I said, you know, when you know, it's been my goal since I took it over, and I guess it was nineteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I said we're going to try to grow it, and double it every year, yeah. and we've been successful in doing yeah. that. 
Uh, we've got an amazing community that supports what we do. It's a good town. And it is. Yeah. It's, it's a great town. You have DJ out there? <laughs> you've had it before? Well, actually, we're going to have both radio stations. We'll there be you out go. there this year. <laughs> you one on one end, one on the other, making there sure there's entertainment everywhere. Yeah. Well, good. Well, the bigger you make it, the more things you have for people to just get, bring more people out, right? Yes. And it just you can affect and touch more people and get more people involved, and which is such a great, great project. So it's awesome that you guys are so engaged in it and, and wanting to make it a bigger thing for the community. And they, they respond in kind, it seems like. Right? Yeah, they have definitely responded. You know, yeah. it, it's every year it's amazing. And there's nothing better than sitting in a dunk tank talking <laughs> trash to six and seven year old kids. <laughs> That's right. And, you know, it makes it, you know, it's my way of just. It really getting, builds that relationship. It, it does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I'll just have to say one last thing before we sign <clears throat> off since it is um, Dusty's last day. Mm. You know, being a part of a community organization that works with, you know, underserved populations and people with addiction and trauma, being able to work with Dusty and the officers at Frankfurt Police Department has been really, it, it's just been important. It's mm -hmm. been special work um, and it's, he won't say it, but it's because of Dusty mm -hmm. and him <laughs> pushing, you know, pushing the department forward these last few years. So we're really excited and he's got a lot of, um, a lot of good people set up mm -hmm. with you know we did a debriefing yesterday on all the projects and it was a really long meeting mm -hmm. <laughs> to get everybody involved to to kind of get up to speed because he's the mastermind behind things yeah. so but well, just wanna we just need to we need to clap for him or something yeah, oh, yeah. Can we clap for him <laughs> listen I, I might throw up some ideas but it's all the workhorses behind me that do the work so i you know people like l that i mean I, my idea for some of our projects was about the size of a maybe a marble and it's yeah. just but that's important huge. everybody yeah, has their role and 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 big projects come out of a small idea well, so i've had i've had an amazing staff to work with that has supported me so any any success we've had is not me it's all of us it's the, the whole team but, uh, i just want just want to make sure that's clear because uh, mm -hmm. without that support without that staff and without friends and partners like l mm -hmm. we we wouldn't be as successful as what we are so well, good on you, and we wish you the best in your retirement because uh, we've just so enjoyed having you as our uh, chief of police. You. And, uh, you know, don't be a stranger, mm. obviously. Oh, no, I've got my hands in too many things. <laughs> okay. I'll be around, I assure you. It might be in shorts and flip flops, well, but I'll, okay. I'll be yeah, around. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. We appreciate you all coming. Uh, please, if you have the opportunity to get out to National Night Out, do that on August 6th. Tuesday. 5 30 to 8 30 and it's going to be on second street this year yeah should be a fun time out there good times and uh yeah everybody get out and, and again we appreciate these community groups coming together and making it what it is yeah. you know what i mean if it, if if the if yes arts wasn't around doing all the great things they weren't doing and the police department wasn't so open and willing to engage then these kind of things aren't possible so appreciate all of them for all their hard work well thank awesome. you awesome thank right. you um, okay